Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. the top with elbows or he lands these big right hands that makes his opponent close up and then he goes to the next position whether it be sufficient or continuing to ground and pound his opponent into the bottom of the eye. And of course it all starts with maintaining top position which he does as well as anyone in the game. Well this is exciting here DC the founder of Jeet Kune Do one of the founding fathers really of mixed martial arts Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC Heavyweight Division. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, Green through the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, come back to your corners, come out fighting. Well, huge buzz for this fight, and round one is now on the way. A clash of styles in some respects between a grappler and a five-tool player type, but certainly the more well-rounded fighter has no problem engaging in the game. No, he doesn't mind grappling, but he also has the ability to fight on the feet, something the grappler does not really feel comfortable with doing. He seems to be behind the eight ball a little bit, but let's see how he manages getting this fight to the ground. Well, it's, oh, what a to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. How about that shin? Right there, boy. Wow. It was good.
big night at that landed. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. You are battering that nose. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Left hand punch with the clinch. Man, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, oh my God. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. So there's that takedown defense on full display yet again. It's held up for him. He does a fantastic job of squaring up his hips, getting his legs back, and understanding not to allow his opponent to get going on his takedown finish. Looking for the trip here on the clinch, but great balance by him to avoid it. Straight punch. Flush right hand is true. Kick. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range. He'll suddenly he'll change his stance. Wow, huge head kick. He went high on that one. Oh! Shot a double leg. Oh, wow. Slams into the canvas with a 40. Five minutes in the books. So let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action. But the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs. And in survival mode, luckily he made it to the end of that round. Okay, you ready? Round two. Ready? Let's go, fight. advantage you might as well use it nice job there to find a home for that chip crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here and if you're the opponent you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop the got to defend but you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve it starts to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish Oh, this is where you don't want to be, though. I mean, how many can he take? All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Fighters back to their feet here. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression. Oh, nice pop there from the crowd as he finally gets the takedown. He stayed committed to the offensive wrestling, and now he has his opponent where he wants. A sigh of relief from the people watching because they were tired of watching him flail around trying to get takedowns and get defended over and over again. Finally gets it. Now what does he do with the top string? Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have... I he's going to attack the triangle choke here. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is. He's moving to the finishing position. Now watch, he goes parallel right next to the corner. Nicely done. Got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. 
he's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. 30 seconds to go in the round. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. He got his foot on the hip, and now he's throwing up a triangle attempt. He's gonna try to move his left arm across to get pressure on the choke. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, fight down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, DC, here we go with our next round. It wasn't just the accuracy, it was the aggressiveness. It was unbelievable to watch him be so active. The cardio, the push, the pace, and the pressure that he fought with. It's going to be very interesting to see if he can maintain this. Nice elbow in the clinch there up top by Lee. Big kick lands. And he defends yet another takedown. Seemingly every takedown attempt that has been tried has been stuffed. Big punch land over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, big head kick land. Oh, single collar tie here. Huge knee lands this way. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. Nice punch by Lee. Oh, and there's the double leg takedown, DC. That is just too good, too easy. Too good, too easy. The timing was just too good. Before he could even defend, he's already off of his feet, going backwards. It's hard to run backwards, and that's what happens when this guy hits his double leg. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, right to the mount. Now he'll try to start attacking a rear naked choke from the top position. Oh, he's got a choke. His opponent's got double hooks in now under the chin. It's starting to get deep. Yeah, notice he just took the body triangle, readjust the lock, and now it looks like he's got it. So he submits courtesy of the rear naked choke. That guy's got a squeeze on him. He does a great job securing the position, getting under the neck, and then hiding his hands in order to get the finish. Fantastic performance by this fighter. Wow! Wow! <laughs> well, you can tell he has been working hard on his submissions in his training camp. That was a near-perfect setup on that choke. Sunk it in deep, and the opponent had no choice but to tap out or go to sleep. He chose to tap out. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta is going to stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 14 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by tap out.
Incredible result here tonight as you see the winner there celebrating his victory by way of submission and they put so much Thank you for watching. Please wait for more videos. See you soon.